Hey, hey, folks, we might be drunk. Here we are. A little snafu. Sam is aged and became a <laughs> non Jew. You got Goyd. Half, half. Oh, you're a half? half Whoa! Yeah. It's the wrong half. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. is it dad? Dad's Jewish. They, they, don't, they don't count that, man. I'm they don't just, count I'm it. I'm just as Jewish as you are to them. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Sorry. I, I like a little bit. Did you have to do the. The bar mitzvah no, and all no, that. No. Damn. We went to my cousins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you couldn't be more Gentile. You think so? I mean, Midwest, honky, wrestler, cauliflower ear, uh, happy, you know, <laughs> fun loving, cool guy. Yeah, you're you're a goy. Okay. All right. But, you know, you got your St. Louis shit on. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. You got to represent. We, we got Jews in St. Louis. I mean, oh, you do? Yeah, not a lot, but there's a district, you know. Oh, yeah. The area. Jew area. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from New Orleans. We got a just a tiny little sect, and it's it's like this beautiful neighborhood, and they have a beautiful school, and uh, yes. everybody wants to get in. Same with St. Louis. It's nice. Yeah. They're yeah. killing it, those yeah. Jews. Yeah. They really do. It, it, throw, it fucks up the whole minority uh argument because it's like we were marginalized and kicked out and oppressed and here we are killing it yeah and that's why everybody hates them i don't know if the orthodox really uh they're not helping the cause yeah that i i uh that's when i lived here was when i had the first interaction with the orthodox jews and it was same interesting yeah i think my favorite thing was i was like uh walking in uh brooklyn one time and there's they were in the what's the whatever they wear oh uh, uh, yeah like the black the black yeah the, the suits and the, yeah and yeah there, was, there like, they are three of those guys and they were uh they were playing basketball what and, yeah yeah in this like park in brooklyn and uh and they they sucked like they, they, <laughs> they were <laughs> not they a lot were of bas- dunking going yeah on. yeah there was no dunk it was the first time in my i'm terrible at basketball it was the yeah. first time i was like i i could take these guys <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, did yeah. you have to help him shoot because it was Saturday? Yeah. You had to, like, <laughs> throw the ball for him? I can't touch the ball. Touch the ball. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my fourth, first uh, interaction with Orthodox was here as well. I lived in Brooklyn in Crown Heights, which is a Jewish neighborhood, and uh, I'd get drunk and come home at like four in the morning, and they'd be driving around in minivans doing who knows what, and they would go, you're on the you're on the wrong side. You get in the van. They thought I was Jewish. Really? And I go, I'm not Jewish. And they would slide that door closed <laughs> and peel out of there. Yeah, that was that was ugly over there. Look at that. There they go. I see. See how much fun that is, man. They're having a good time. They're all dressed the same though. That would annoy me. You yeah. want to have a little bit of your own individuality. I bet you there's a flare of some t- like a cufflink or something. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe like a Yankees yarmulke. Yeah. Something. <laughs> Make like it your a, own. A shoelace of some sort or, a, you know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not seeing it, but I bet you there's something. It was also fun, too, because uh, my landlord was Jewish. Are you guys sitting down? Landlord was Jewish. But he uh, he couldn't talk to my girlfriend at the time because they're not allowed to talk to strange women. Yeah. And uh, so he'd come into my house because I was like, oh, the pipes burst. And he'd be like, okay. And they could, it's funny seeing an Orthodox guy with a tool belt, first of all. And he would come in and she'd be like, yeah, it's the one. And he's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I was like, that's pretty good. So I started doing it to her. So I would you know, come home the next day and she's like, you didn't answer my, oh, you know, women, woman. She hated it, but we had a good time. I had the same, like, uh, when I lived down on the Lower East Side, my neighbors w- were Muslim, you know? Yeah. And uh, Muslim women are not supposed to make eye contact with, with unfamiliar men. Oh, really? Yeah, so we would pass pass in the hallway and she wouldn't look at me. But, I mean, <sighs> you know, like, she she really wouldn't look at me. Like, she... You know, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, she, yeah, she gave it a little bit... I think it was her way of saying, hey, e- even if I wasn't Muslim... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you still have no chance. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that sucks, because all they have is the eyes, right? I mean, she had a burqa on, I assume. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So there's nowhere else to look. I think I saw... I think I saw maybe more than I should have. Oh, so, really? Like, nothing, you know... Like a hair wisp? Yeah, I think I saw at some point. Because, you know, you live in the same yeah. neighborhood. There's going to be... Everybody has a bad day. Sure, know? sure. Well, they they must... Uh, you guys can relate on the bombing. All right. But... <laughs> that was oh, a- wait a minute. I think that was... Uh, like, they bomb... 
You stand up. I, I stand up yeah, all the time. It was sorry. A, I was I, I was slow on that. Yeah, that was a bomb. Yeah, man. No, but, I, I I bombed plenty when I was living here. Yeah. Yeah, we all did. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, the Muslim thing. That's tough. You know, you can't. I do you think there must be some fantasy? Like you're this this cracker coming through the hallway, and she's it's so forbidden that she must want to go down on you. Man, I gotta tell you, I like I didn't pick up. On any fantasy, okay. From her, like, yeah, yeah. I, I, it was quite the opposite. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I, I don't think there was that going on. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I would. I'd like to believe that now. Yeah, maybe I'm projecting because yeah. I thought it <laughs> about them. And there's porn. There's Muslim porn uh, with these women, and they'll like take their burqa off and start blowing a bunch of dudes. What? Oh, it's hot. But I think they're banned from co- their country now. Are they actors? Well, they're porn actors. They're, but I mean, are they uh, r- real Muslim women? Well, they're Middle Eastern, but I don't know if they're actually yeah, Muslim. Yeah, I'd probably, yeah, probably not, probably. but the the Muslim, uh, you know, uh, empire, what do you call uh, president? I think that's Poli- it. They yeah. hate it. <laughs> yeah, what do you call I the Muslim? Imagine. The Shah? Uh, no, the Shah no. is... Uh, Persian? Imam. Imam? Imam. Yeah. Imam. They're, they're, Imam, they're the religious leaders, like priests or whatever. Okay, yeah. well, they don't like it. They don't like the porn. I would say most of them. Yeah. Don't yeah. Like don't care for it. I don't think they care for the gays either. No. They have a penalty for homosexuality in Afghanistan where they push a wall on you. What? A giant wall on you. And if you survive, you can continue to live. But if you die, you die. Wait a minute. The punishment for homosexuality, they take a wall. Straight up wall. Just a, a wall like this, a brick wall, and they push it on you. It's brick, though. Yeah. Oh, no. It's it's uh, cinder block. Whoa! Wow! I, can I do my act in front of it? I'm used to being <laughs> by brick walls. Yeah! Wow! Smushing a wall. Wow! What is that going to do? If he survives, he's still gay. It's a horrible. I don't think so, man. <laughs> <laughs> you think it pushes it out? Yeah, of you? For, yeah. I think it's uh, yeah. Damn! Not outwardly, I would say. And look, we have conversion therapy here, which you know is obviously <laughs> yeah, crazy, yeah. but it ain't no wall. We're doing better. We're progressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Walls don't work. Oh, tell that to China. Great wall. Big wall there. That's Big China wall. wall. Yeah. Great wall. I wonder if they got shit for building that wall. You know, people are like this fucking president. He's a oh yeah, he's yeah. a racist. Building yeah, were walls. They, uh, were they keeping any? I'm sure. Was it the Mongols or something? Yeah. They were they were keeping out. Yeah, yeah that was their yeah. Mexicans. Also, apparently, it's built without any right angles. If you notice, it's wavy like this. Mm. Because spirits can pass through right angle walls, but they can't pass through a wall like this. Ah, uh, that's convenient. Wow. What what asshole came up with that? You know, he's like, now we got to curve the wall because of your <laughs> dumb ideology. Yeah, can you think of the bricklayers that we're dealing with? Oh, that? my God. Have you been to the wall? The Great uh, Wall? No. I've been to the gay thing, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you yeah. went there on spring break. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, no, they put me in front of it. Do you think they call the wall the grinder? Oh. All right. <laughs> Sorry. But I've been to the Great Wall in China, and it's fucking amazing. It's like, it's incredible they built it that big back then. Just guys putting stones. No machinery. No bobcat, no bulldoze, just hand-on-hand action. Insane. And you can see it from outer space? Is that true, or is, yes, that, a, is. is that a thing? I think that's true. Yeah. Or is that an old man- Mandela? I think I've seen both sides of that, where it's like it's true, mm. and then I was like, ah, you really can't. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. False here. Oh, shit. There it is. There it I, is. There I it walked is. on yeah. that. You. Uh-oh, here we go. Mythbusters ah. coming at you. The Great Wall of China is not visible to the... Oh! Yeah. Man, those jerks ruined a lot of fun, didn't they? They really yeah, did, yeah, those yeah. Mythbusters. Damn, Pop Rocks and Soda won't kill you, apparently. Okay. So, hey, go nuts. Man. Hey, there we go. <laughs> We've been replaced by the Gentile. <laughs> no, I mean, you guys could switch and swap. Switch and swap. There we go. Good to see you. Hey, all right. Oh, yeah, I really, I really picked the wrong shirt to come in a cranky mood today. <laughs> yeah. I was, this is the wrong shirt to have a meltdown in on the subway. Oh, just, it wouldn't Mark, move. Mark has a subway story from today as well. Oh, they, the train just wouldn't move. I was stuck for, was, I'm, you know, I'm never late. I'm usually like 15 early. I like to, uh, punctuality is important to me. Yeah. Was it the A? 
It was the uh, or the, the C N. or the N. Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay, I you saw, had, what I, happened to you? I saw. I was on the uh, the C, and a guy had a knife, and the cops were like, "Put it down! Put it down!" Ah! So I jumped on the A. Damn, that really pisses me. He took all my thunder. <laughs> no, no. I came in a mood. Yeah. He has got yeah. better no, story. Tell, tell your little uh, subway story. Yeah. Yeah. Was well, there a knife? Well, was well, there a knife? Well, well, there we were. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there. <laughs> we weren't moving at all. <laughs> no, that's crazy. A knife? Yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't that crazy because the cops were terrified. They had hands on the guns, but the guy goes, just take it. Take the knife. And he just dropped it. Were there any Marines on board? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No, no. Too no. soon, too soon. I liked it. All right. Uh, do we have a bartender today? No, what would you like? I need something after that. Uh, after that the, 15 minutes of waiting. Get the man a bodega and soda. All I'll, right. I'll do, I'll do a, yeah, I'll do something. Good to, right. Dude, by the way, the special is amazing. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. You're, you're such a great comic. Oh, watch, watch Greg Warren's new special. Uh, it's our second Nate Land produced special. Oh That's yeah, right. it was Mike in we here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike's awesome. Mike's was so good, man. So good. So yeah, good. I loved it. Mike's I watched it when they premiered it. It was it was so great. Dude, you... So so many just good. It's just so tight. You're yeah. special. Oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks. I pr really appreciate you watching it, man. Thanks. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. The, and also, Freddie DeMarco is the dude. That oh, yeah, man. That's so cool. He has I, a story about a guy, Freddie DeMarco, who I met in Missouri. Oh, took this, me, this goes took me to a Mizzou game. Yeah, this goes oh, way wow. back because Sam, uh, I think it was like early in your career yeah and you were like hey man i'm doing conan and i really don't have any clubs to go i want to promote a club and i just i know i'm real close to that club yeah so i called them and i was like hey get get sam and they were like yeah yeah w you know they knew who you were they were like yeah, yeah yeah so sam goes there and he calls me he's like is there anything i should do when i'm in a college town i'm, I'm like well have you ever been to a college football game like a big college and he's like no so freddie's this guy that owned used to own the club and he, he took fred he took sam to it he's like Character man, hell yeah! Character Italian guy like th that lives in the middle of Missouri and stuff. Yeah. Hey, Craig, what are you doing, man? You're, <laughs> you're busting my boy. He loves Sam too, man. It, we had fun. He's a great yeah, guy. Yeah, he, he knew exactly. I was like, hey, this guy Sam. I know that guy, man. He's real funny, man. Yeah. He's, he's real dark, man. But I love this kid, man. Yeah, tell him I'll take him to a game, man. Hell yeah! Yeah. The story, yeah, the stories in the special are so good, man. It's just like. Out of the gate, like it's, I love when in the first minute and a half, it's just like bam, bam, bam. It's yeah, like, uh, is your is your White Knight? That's not St. Louis, is it? That was Cleveland. Cleveland. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. St. Louis is a wild town, man. First of all, that that funny bone there. Oh is yeah, bananas. Man. Well, there used to be that the other one too, next to the bird and the gun store. Oh, that I Valley never Park. even. Park. Yeah, Valley Park. That did. That was like my whole time in. New York, so I never worked it. Barely ever went there. Mm. Now there's another one, but it's in a different area. It's kind of nice. Oh, it's, it's, those are like classic. I'm, classic. Uh, can you still smoke cigarettes in that room? No, I mean the staff does. But yeah. I, think, but, I think they just cut it off. Like, but yeah, they were the ago. last. They were the last to do it, so you can't. But um, yeah, it's a throwback, man. It's just uh, you know, it, it's it's. I, I mean, those people are like my family. That, that, oh, it's that killer. Run the, that club. The so. guy in the wheelchair at the oh, door. Damn. Whatever his Dan was, Dan a ball McKenzie. buster. Dan, that guy, he's got so many of those things where you think I'm doing a bit, you know, like just for example, like somebody called the comedy club one day and uh, they want to know if the comedian was blue, mm. and and Dan said. The headliner is African American, <laughs> <laughs> and the feature act is white. <laughs> and that, I know that that sounds like I'm making a bit up, but I'm not. And but also, he was serious. He was completely, that's, and he's worked at a comedy club for 15 that's years, so and funny. he didn't know the terminology blue. Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then they had that waitress there, the blonde lady. She was older. Patty. She had the patty. She had the yeah, bob hairdo, and uh, I, she's counting money. She's like my I'm, sister, man. She was so cool. And I'm drinking. You know, just the clubs go over. That they're counting money she's smoking and she's like i saw seinfeld in 88 he sucked then and he sucks now <laughs> 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 patty yeah. patty i mean this is this woman is like my sister man yeah. i've known her forever but she kind of judges a comic by how much she rang and that's oh, it like like it's <laughs> like it. i'm not so sure she did she's funny too she's, she's very funny, funny. and she, but she, she listens to jokes but it, man she's heavily influenced by like yeah yeah that was uh bill hicks and we didn't we didn't ring, ring very good you know? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. i was just talking to our buddy ron on about like how well bill hicks's shit holds up oh like yeah. it's like better than ever it's kind of great like some of carlin i love george carlin some of carlin's stuff 
it's either amazing or it's just like kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. Or it's like Hicks, it's kind of like all, even the shit where he's just bombing that flying saucer tour. <laughs> He's oh, just yeah. bombing with his heady material yeah. in like Alabama. I know. It's kind of amazing. I, I saw him live one time in a, in a club, man. R where? In Houston, where, where Whoa, he's from. The yeah. Laugh Stop? Yeah, oh, I was. My, no, someone, you're not drinking with me? I'll have a drink. No, we're just, no one we're doing a couple of. Ah, sorry, man. No, all right, Mark. I'll do, I'll do one, but Salakis is famous for his uh, horrific cocktail. Well, these are, these are bottled drinks, thankfully. <laughs> all right, thanks, Skipper. <laughs> you gotta put more ice in that, Gilligan. What are you doing? Yeah, to what me? the hell? What? Come on, Jesus Christ! Wait, how Cosby? About, how about like a, just a ton of ice and a little bit of bourbon? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. Have a give him some bodega cat. I, yeah, it, what's that? Here's our whiskey. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yours. Yeah. Mark yeah. and I made a whiskey. What do you got? got a little fuzz on you. I got you. Yeah. Um. What are we seeing? Uh. Bill Hicks. Hicks and oh yeah, Hicks, man. What year was this? This was uh, probably ninety. One, oh wow! And I was doing an open mic in Houston. It's they sent me down there to. That's what that special. I to sell potato chips and and peanut butter. And it was my first job. Was oh in wow! Houston, Texas, and I was doing. Uh, I went to do open mics, and uh, Thank it you. was. Yeah. Ralphie May was doing open mics at the time. Wow. And I didn't know anything about comedy. You're when the I... only survivor from this. From this <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, now that I think of it, there's a lot of guys. For, yeah. Robert Schimmel was there. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Patrice O'Neill, Greg Geraldo. <laughs> so I'm like. <laughs> Jordan Neely. And I, I, when, I, when I was growing up, I didn't know much stand-up. I just didn't. I was real into like movies and Saturday Night Live. And, uh, yeah. Who was like your SNL people that you that you loved? Uh, Belushi. Yeah. And um, I mean, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Murphy was the first stand-up that I really heard and was like, oh, my God, that's yeah. insane, you know? He changed the game. But I was there, and so I didn't know who was who. And uh, Ralphie was like, hey, this guy, we were at Open Mic, and Ralphie's like, this guy's in town this weekend. He's, like, from here. He's a legend. You got to go see him. So me and my buddy, Monty Kilburn, just went and watched him, and I sat in the back. And it's still one of the funniest shows I've ever seen, wow. man. And it was not... It's funny because Hicks, the way all his albums are, it's very political and very like slanted, and but he likes silly still. That's, that's yeah, what I love about that's, it. He was all silly in that wow. show, like all. I just man, he he told this bit about, I oh, God, I can't like like asking him. He talked about his dad a lot. He t he told this bit about you know asking about some guys who whenever he asked somebody about how they're doing they're dead i can't remember ah. what he's like hey how's your dad it's like oh man like yeah oh, but yeah, it was yeah. it was so great and he came out to music which i'd never seen before it was like this really cool <laughs> like alt rock song and i was this is this guy is a badass wow man. yeah he how, yeah. how'd he ring that weekend huh <laughs> how'd he ring no, it, it, Patty said he's not good. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did he? Was he? Uh, was it a big venue you saw him in? No, it was a laugh stop, man. Which was before you guys' time, but it, you know, two hundred fifty seat club. I think he was. Yeah, yeah, man. Jeez. Hey. And go and watch Greg's special right yes. after watching this. On it YouTube. really is killer. It is killer. That peanut butter bit about the uh, the oil on top. Oh my god! How, yeah. is, how has no one done that? I fucking know. Bit? I've hated that my whole I'll life. I'll tell you how they haven't, Sam. They didn't sell peanut butter for <laughs> ten years, man. I, 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 I paid but for that we, bit. But we've man. all seen the, the <laughs> we've all seen the liquid on top. And yes. Like, what the fuck? Yes, and hated. You it. didn't live it though, man. Like, I, 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 had, I had to go against those guys, man. But wait a minute. So I, I eat peanut butter every day. I'm hooked on peanut butter. Yeah. I love peanut do you, butter. Do you, what kind do you do? I just do the shit. I do Jif and yeah. And, what do you, know, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> Did you just say Jif? Was, well, I didn't want what, you guys to on. judge me with some organic horse shit. I do the the you know the Jif is the Jif is there's it's a great peanut butter man. Choosy mom. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's not. It's a superior. Okay. It's got a little molasses in there. It's, it's my uh, go to. No, it's my. I mean. It's, uh, you do you shit on chunky? Chunky is my favorite. I did not shit on chunky. You said, I, but you said that they're over the creamy's. I, th I, th I think that I've always felt I'm that a creamy there was. Man you're creamy too. I'm creamy all day. I don't well, want. Creamy's crunch. four to one, guys. Yeah. Is it four to? I mean, these are wow. two thousand and one numbers. So I, 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 I would imagine. <laughs> He's got the books. I imagine it still holds up. But yeah, that was that was one of the first. You know, you know when you're young and you have like the jokes that you repeat. Remember snaps. <laughs> Those oh, books yeah. of insults, I'd be like, I remember the one where you say, you say to a kid in school, you'd be in like first or second grade, you'd be like, dude, your mom's legs are like peanut butter, smooth and easy to spread. Ah, that was a big man. one. That's a great joke. I was, uh, <laughs> my moms are like, they're crunchy. <laughs> I think I, I got most of mine from like Fat Albert. Uh, oh, which was yeah. Like, you, you're like school in the summertime. No class. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Yeah, well, hey, yeah. when your mom's so fat, when she sits around the house, she really sits, sits around, around the, the house. house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Your mom's so dumb when I said, uh, it's chilly outside, she got a bowl. <laughs> She's so fat, she put on high heels, she struck oil. Yeah. <laughs> I like you know what was a classic is uh, your mom's so old she doesn't have milk in her tits she's got sour cream. Oh, yeah. I never heard that, that was a good one. one. <laughs> Damn snaps. Yeah, your mom's so fat she uses the equator as a belt. Uh, your... <laughs> when I was a kid, that's what I thought like adults did. They like stood around. They're like, All right, come here, <laughs> gather around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poker table, around. cigars. What a disappointment, man. <laughs> Let me tell you about your mom. <laughs> Ooh, your mom's so old when they when God said let there be light she flipped the switch. All right. I know them all. I remember that classic scene in Nutty Professor speaking to Eddie Murphy. Yeah, it's just they're just doing that back yeah, and yeah, forth, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. And the whole Chappelle like, should I get him? <laughs> oh, yeah. Should I really get him? <laughs> he stole that. <laughs> and, and the scene where he's egging him on, Eddie Murphy's like, you the man, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> that movie is so fun. Yeah, yeah that's man. Women be shopping. That's where women, women be shopping. shopping. Come from. Yeah. Women be shopping. <laughs> women really make fun be... of comics. <laughs> oh yeah. Can you imagine being a young comedian like a young Dave Chappelle? Doing killing that heart in front of Eddie Murphy. Like imagine being that funny in front of this huge legend. By the way, Jada Pinkett sitting right next to him, his her man's being insulted. She doesn't do oh, shit. Oh what? She had hair. That's her. Yeah. What? <laughs> here we, here we, yeah. Yeah, here Can we, we go. play this, Matt? <laughs> this is so man, young Chappelle. <laughs> He's, he's, look at the energy. That's true, women do oh. <laughs> She's unbelievable. Look at this. Look like a handful of credit bags. <laughs> uh, uh, she slapped him. <laughs> <laughs> It's just fucked up when you realize Chappelle's a better high energy comic right. than most comics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Better low energy comic. All I'm thinking about is all the clips he's getting. <laughs> you think it was like oh, one yeah. guy Dave was channeling when he did this, or there was oh, like yeah. five oh, different yeah. guys? There's that a couple he's, BT yeah, guys yeah, yeah. in here. I mean, what's the possible direction here for Chappelle? Like, <laughs> Look at the dance. Away. I think they just let him go. Excuse me, I'm gonna do this. Now. Oh, oh no, <laughs> he's gonna get him. <laughs> That was kind of smart. <laughs> God, Eddie yeah. Murphy's good. Yeah, that's a good one there. Yeah. Oh, boy. You got more crack than Harlem. Look at that. <laughs> you know what the crazy thing about that movie is that Eddie Murphy plays like seven different characters. Yeah. And they all have depth. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the mom is like a real human. The yeah. dad is like, they're all real people. It's yeah, like grandmother. yeah. The, the Coming to America characters were yes. pretty good too, man. Yeah. The barber shop, the Jewish oh, guy. Man. He also yeah. played the uh, the singer in that church thing. Amazing. Amazing. Well, that was Arsenio. I thought. Oh, that was our, was that Arsenio? I think yeah, that was. Arsenio. That was I think that was, yeah. I think that was Murphy. I don't think so. Think uh, the What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 with yeah, Jerry yeah. Curl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, that man. guy. Sexual chocolate. That's Eddie Murphy. No, yeah. that's. Uh, I think that's Eddie. That's got to be Eddie. Oh yeah. yeah, it is. Well, he's also got a good voice. Yeah, I mean, he's got that that hit oh, song, man. that <laughs> album. Oh, Quincy yeah. Jones just made him an album. I guess you just couldn't say no to Eddie Murphy in the eighties. No, 80s. no. Go to parties, like just make me an album. He's like, fine. Yeah. Well, there was uh, put it in the butt. Put a bone in your butt. I put a microphone in your butt. I put me in your butt. I put a bumblebee. <laughs> so there was that one. But then my girl likes to party at town all the time. Is like a hit. So really? My girl likes to party oh, pull all the up time. My girl, can we? Are we allowed to play any of this, Peters? You gotta go quick. You I bet go you like my, car, my well, girl likes to party all the time. Charted top. I don't know. This it song was at easily all. top five. Really? You know it. Is that Rick James? I guess he was robbed of an Oscar for Dreamgirls. He should have won for that. Yeah, he was pissed about that he too. Was, he was amazing in that. Yeah, but you can't place. You can't just expect awards if you're a comedian. Well, they gave Rodney a record too. Don't forget. <laughs> no, oh my God, <laughs> rapping Rodney. Rodney? Gotta let's play. <laughs> yeah. I think it's up here somewhere. We have rapping it Rodney. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, there Do we, it is. we gotta get Hedberg. Oh, there he is. He's on the wall. All right. I was oh, wondering. Man. Rapping Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> He's already funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my snake? 
<laughs> Death wears ice sh- <laughs> as, like a kid, as a kid, you're laughing at this, but he's like, I hope I die. Yeah, 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 yeah That's right. crazy. Uh, but I found this shit hilarious. Yeah. Did uh, you see you got Hedberg on the wall? Yeah, he's there. He's on our death wall here. Uh, Oh, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're next. Yeah. It's not that long. No, I'm joking. I, uh... I did. I got to work with him early on. Oh. It opened for him like three or four times. How was that? It was great, man. He was so cool, dude. That and that guy loved comics, and he uh, he tipped me one time as a feature. Like Lynn, his wife, at the end of the week was like, she was like, "Hey, Mitch, wanted you have this? You know, it was like a hundred bucks when you're yeah. a feature act, man. For head, you know." I saw him. What else? You I know, it's a big deal when a guy who's got a debilitating drug problem is giving out money. Oh man, good he point. was like, that's a he, good dude. I mean, he was, he was. Uh, God, at this story, I feel like. This isn't my story to tell, but I'm telling him. Yeah, this is, this is a pleasure. This is not my story, man. This All is right. Henry Phillips told me this story. Oh, but he's funny. He said back in the it, towards the end, Mitch was like, and Mitch and Lynn were living off the grid, and Mitch was huge, and he was making a bunch of cash, and he was every he was sweet every time I saw him. He was just generous and nice. And um, was he in a van, a trailer, or how did no? They off the grid? I think they just. I don't know that. I mean, they just stayed in hotels. Oh, well, that's what this I story see. Is. They were just, you know, going yeah, he hotel lived to in the Chelsea hotel for a while. What? Yeah, I stayed there one time, yeah. man. In, I stayed in his room. What? I was like, g- still selling peanut butter in Houston, and he was friends <laughs> with my buddy Brian Hersey, who's a comic. Uh, and him and Hersey were tight, and uh, we came up to New York, and Mitch was on the road, and uh, we just came to see what New York was like, and. Uh, we stayed in his place and and I remember like he had like a calendar there and it, he had like Letterman on there like he wrote Letterman oh, and it, was, it was so cool to see that's incredible so yeah we stayed at Mitch's in the Chelsea Hotel and uh, I st- <laughs> we didn't know like we didn't know anything about comedy you know we just we just both like open micros or whatever and we came and we and when you say stay did he just have a huge room or something or it, was, it was like a like a hotel and like one guy slept on the bed I slept on the floor or something okay. you know mm. um but it was, you know, we just came to, it was like first time in New York, I think, as an adult. And uh, and then we went to the comic strip and Attell was there. And we had met Attell before because he worked at a laugh stop down there. And he, Attell was like, we just sort of sit in the bar and Attell's like, hey, why don't you guys uh, go pick yourselves a spot out? You know, <laughs> like just making fun of us yeah. like we had no idea. <laughs> so, uh, so anyways, this so Mitch is living off the grid kind of and just has cash he, he didn't have credit cards back then he just and he had a lot of cash mitch was making huge money back huge then. money and um so they go to this hotel and the guy goes i need a credit card and mitch goes i don't, I don't have a credit card and the guy's like well i need a credit card and mitch like pulls out a giant thing of cash he's like no man like here this is cover cover it times 10 you yeah know? the guy's like i still need a credit card and mitch goes this is how much is mine work he goes hey man no man this this is what the credit card represents. <laughs> check this out. Check this out. He goes. That's he goes. So Mitch. That would be like if you hired a Frank Sinatra impersonator, and Frank Sinatra showed up, and you were like, "No, man, we hired the impersonator." Oh, which is like, is that the greatest bit? Uh, and that wasn't even analogy. That wasn't even his act. Right. Like that's just the way his mind wow. works, man. Damn. I was like, that bit is better than anything I've thought of. Yeah, he man. said, "Give me a receipt and file it under D for donut." <laughs> D for donut. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Filed under D. <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that yeah. is a uh, that's a bit. That's amazing. Oh, it's a yeah, great it's bit, a bit, man. It, it's like everything that I would want. Out of a bit. Yeah, and it's so him too. Yeah. Everything Hedberg would have been so good at Twitter. Oh, because he would have read everything yeah. in his voice, and he, it would have yeah. been like perfect. Yeah, he is Twitter. Yeah, that's his whole act. Yeah, I'm hungry for rice is what you want ten thousand or something or whatever. That's a perfect tweet. My favorite tweet. one was always the one where he goes, "I like to uh, I, I sit around and I think of stuff that's funny, or if it's of a pen's too far away, I have to convince myself that what I thought oh, was yeah. not funny. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great joke. Or, or what's the other? Uh, you can't please all the people all the time, but and last night all those people were at my show. show. Yeah. That's like fucking perfect. Yeah, what oh, it, yeah. he said something one time. He's like, uh, you know, I always like if you want to. If you want to buy something after, if you want to talk to me after the show, I would be shocked. <laughs> Damn, he had a million of them. Yeah, I'm against yeah. picketing, but I don't know how to show it. I mean, oh, that's yeah. like brilliant. I brain think my twister. favorite was the guy that uh, he was playing his music really loud, and his neighbor started beating on the oh, wall. Oh yeah, and Mitch goes, "Go around." <laughs> 
You know, you know I cannot was? open the wall. Do you know who the guy in that story is? No. Nick DiPaolo. No way, yeah. really? <laughs> they were living in L.A. That makes it even more amazing. Like, his neighbor's that <laughs> angry. Yeah, Them together is like a sitcom. Oh, yeah, yeah man. I would, I would watch every episode of that sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> You told me a story. I don't know. Was it you told me the the uh, Ron White story? Oh that, yeah, another one that's not my story, but yeah. But it's like yeah. the most insane story. Oh, this, is like, this is like comics on the road. People don't know that we stay in like comedy condo stuff. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is, but this is. I mean, Ron is a legend. Ron yeah. is another guy that is insanely cool. He so was, nice. He was. God, I remember one time. It was like I, I had, when I was living in L.A. I had like a showcase at the Hollywood Improv. Which that you, it was just never a good crowd. It was always industry I there. Bombed her a week ago. And you would, did you realize? <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> they threw me on. It wasn't like they were nice enough to even throw me on. The, yeah. the, the woman who books their Rita is like the coolest. Oh, she's, she's great. so yeah. nice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and they they threw me on. I went on first. The host kind of ate it, and then I was kind of like, well, I guess I'm hosting. You know, yeah. so yeah. went up and it, yeah, it just was work. I I. I it wasn't like a hard bomb, but it, it wasn't pretty. Yeah, yeah it's, I, it's I a real I, epidemic with these bad hosts. <laughs> That's a problem. I blame them too. It was well, they're putting the man. worst comic as host because I don't think people want to host. So then you're yeah. as, as the first guy, you you eat your own lunch up there. There's good hosts in New York, but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I gotta that. be honest. I didn't always like following those guys either, man. Yeah. That's a whole different <laughs> bag of hammers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, like like Artie at the cellar just killing, and I'd be like, oh no, man, this right? Is, so uh, much energy, different yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right, sorry, Ron White. Oh, Ron White. Yeah, so Ron, yeah, uh, yeah. Just I was, just, I was doing some sh- showcase, and Ron, and Ron was big at the time, man. I oh, had yeah. met him doing something, and uh, oh, we did the road together, and uh, he like went and sat like in the show and laughed at every one of my dumb jokes. Ah. Which you know, when you're like, I was like insecure and like I got to impress the industry, I got to get this TV show or whatever I was trying oh, to get. So sweet. And Ron was just there, just like, eh, was, you know. Um, but yeah, the story is, I think this was in Columbus and it was at a condo uh, and it was like Ron and some guy that was real green on the road. This guy, mm. a real, real green act, like kind of straight arrow type of guy. And, and the, the headliner gu- was African-American and the yeah. feature was white. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the, so Ron, this kid has like some orange juice, okay? Mm. And he, uh, he puts it in the refrigerator. And Ron... Uh, Ron goes out and does, you know, I don't, I never done drugs, man. I don't even know what, like, but Ron, Ron goes out and he brings back a bunch of acid. Oh, so people wow. People give him some acid and he puts it in the orange juice. Oh, and shit. the kid wakes up the next morning and he drinks like half the pitcher of orange juice and Ron stumbles out and see it. He goes, buddy. You just did about five hits of acid. Oh, and this shit. kid freaks out. He's like, no, no, man. I don't do drugs, man. I don't do drugs. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Ron grabs a pitcher, drinks the rest, Whoa. and goes, I don't know, buddy, but I'm going to be right there with you. Oh. <laughs> and that kid was Ari Shafir. <laughs> wow. You have to get on revenge at everyone. Yeah. 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 Uh, that, is, uh, that is a crazy story. That's, we, what's, we, <laughs> that's what's so great about Ron is because you think these blue-collar comedy tour, Jeff Fox, where they Bill Ing, well, they're all kind of these clean-cut guys, but Ron's an animal. Well, he yeah, had he, booze he was, bags, cigar, cigar smoking, yeah. and drug yeah, dealing. Yeah, yeah. Always when I was when I was in the condo with him, man, it was just he was either eating chicken wings or drinking or you know or or high or doing something. And I remember this was when he was just about to break. Like he had done blue collar. Yeah, they filmed it, but it wasn't out oh. yet. But he knew it was gonna pop. He knew so He knew it was on to something. I love and it. So we're we're in Tulsa at the Tulsa Comedy Club, and it's like one of my first weeks on the road, and the place is trashed. It's just trashed, man. And I'm like. Ron doesn't care, you know, but I'm like, man, I, I have to come back here. Like, yeah. I'm not, I'm, this is going to c- come back on me. So I'm cleaning up all this stuff, and I see Ron's check balled up in the corner. Mm. He just forgot his check, and it was like, it was like, like he, he forgot it. Jesus and it was, Christ. I still remember it was for like $2,500. Ron was wow. working at a club for $2,500. And I remember I, a lot I, of acid. I, he had given me, <laughs> yeah, I, I, he'd given me his, uh, his number and I was like, "Hey, hey, man, you left your check." He's like, "Yeah, buddy, you don't have to send that to me." <laughs> yeah. but uh, damn, 
these comics are so unorganized, you know, yeah. me included. You know, like Norm couldn't drive. Nobody knows how to. Yeah, not being able check. to drive. That's Norm pathetic. I don't know. <laughs> and who can't drive? That's... Well, at least you're in a city drive? with transportation. No. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. you know, like Nate can barely read. Everybody's got, uh, <laughs> we, we all got issues. I can barely book a flight, you know. We're you all gave, over You the gave place. yourself the nicest one there, though. <laughs> well, I had to throw myself in there. <laughs> Joe's yeah, got yeah, herpes. That yourself down everybody's yeah. level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't book a flight. Joe has herpes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a friend of ours has AIDS. Yeah, uh, Greg's homophobic. Yeah. <laughs> so th- what you said about Ron laughing at your set, it's so interesting because that shit goes such a long way when you're oh. a young comic. I remember doing a festival in Jamestown, New York, and... I was in like the Copacabana room. It's the Lucy Fest, and Regan comes in, Brian uh, Regan, who, and I just and I'm like in my head, I'm like, "Fuck, Brian Regan!" I see him in the corner of my eyes, so I'm just like, look away, and I just, and I kind of peek back. And I, he's laughing. I'm like, "Holy!" Yeah. That moment as a young comic, you're like, "Huge!" Holy shit! You'll Huge. never forget that, man. Totally. That, that guy's another prince of a guy that is oh. just always. We were supposed to have him on here a couple times, but oh. just travel shit didn't work out. But fun, Regan. This is how nice Regan is. Somebody dropped out, his opener dropped out. So his agent calls me and they're like, hey, I heard about you. We need an opener tomorrow. ASAP will fly you out. Can you work clean? I was like, yeah. He goes, can you be clean though? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I can be clean. He goes, send me a clean tape. So I sent him a Tonight Show tape. This is years ago. And he writes, he calls me back. He's like, are you fucking kidding me? I said clean. You're talking about gay people. You're talking about, I'm like, it's clean though. He's my roommate. He was gay. Like, he's like, you're talking about this. You use innuendo. And I'm like, okay. The guy kind of went hard on me. Oh, really? I was like, geez. And he the hung up. The gay guy in the bed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, I was like, Jesus Christ. All right. Lost that gig. Tried to send him a clean tape, whatever. Two days later, Regan calls me and goes, Hey, I just talked to my agent. I heard what he did. I watched the tape. It was hilarious. Fuck that guy. Don't listen to him. I uh, hope hope to meet you one day or whatever. Wow. And I was like, oh my god, he didn't have to do that, but he called me just because he knew his agent was a cunt. No, he's a he's a great guy. And, Mensch. Uh, yeah, well, I can't wait to get him on because he drinks. We'll have it. We'll, oh, he drank Bodega Cat with me in Irvine. He's, yeah, he's fun. He came he came to the show at Irvine. We and he was like one of the first comics to drink it. So I was like, this oh is yeah, pretty I'll cool. put him back. I uh. One time, I, it was a, it was a special that came out, and, I, and as an idiot, I was reading the comments, you know, or uh, something, and uh, somebody's like, "This is a Brian Regan bit," and I just, you know, I just went white with feet. I'm like, "Oh no!" Yeah, of course. Oh no! And so I, I, I don't know him that well. I know his brother really well. Well, he I, sold peanut butter for years. <laughs> you know what? He's got a bit about peanut butter and jelly, the goober thing. Oh, that's a great I bit. I stayed away from that. Yeah. I always get people, because I'm doing 20 minutes on peanut butter. They're like, what about goobers? I'm like, I can't talk about it. Don't it's, do it's, goobers. It's, 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 it's Brian Dennis Regan. is a very funny comic. Dennis, well. Dennis is great. So I, I'm freaking out that I stole one of Brian Regan's bits. And yeah. I, uh, I get his email, and I send him an email, and... Uh, he calls me. He just calls me. I was I was at lunch with some some comics, and he calls me, and I'm like, oh. he goes, uh, he goes, where are you right now? I go, uh, I go, I'm at lunch with, in St. Louis. He's like, man, I thought you'd be in San Quentin with the, you know, how much of a thief you are. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, he goes, dude, I don't have any material, anything remotely like that. You're fine. Like, like, oh, it, yeah, what a guy. Yeah, what yeah. A guy. I always get nervous for some reason. Nick Griffin is always like one of the first guys I me text. too because he does so many like short relationship yeah. jokes that I'm always know- but he's always yeah he's I, I, Nick has so many great great d- d- jokes and, yeah, and, and there's some of them are so effortless but there's a lot of effort in it so it's it yeah. seems, well they seem effortless yeah right? they right. seem they seem effortless so you think it's like something you could just through osmosis Dennis has got a bit where he says it's one of my favorite things we're, he like did it in the green room in Dallas one time he goes uh, yeah man I was at this party with my wife she drugged me too and she goes uh she goes, this guy was there, man. He's one of those guys. I, he goes, I didn't like him. He goes, he goes uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People either they either love me or they hate me. And he goes, yeah. I bet it's not 50-50. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> those Classic. quick jokes. I mean, Nick Nick has so many of those, oh, too. Nick, Nick has one where he goes, uh, my wife and I, and, uh, we, we got divorced. You know, We were supposed to be together till, uh, we, were together, we were together two years. We were supposed to be together till death. I never even got a cold. <laughs> That's a great fucking joke. He's got a million of them. With Brad Pitt. You That's know, Brad what I was Pitt thinking. Praise. He's like, no. Go, <laughs> go, watch, go watch any Nick Griffin, like Letterman set or anything. Oh. He's got a new special coming out, so we got to get him oh, on. All bangers. He, he's Letterman sets are 
a lesson. It's in, a master yeah. class. In, in how to do a late night set, man. Totally. I, know, dude, I wonder if young comics even think about that shit anymore. Do you think they even? No. And, and they probably shouldn't. Yeah. Well, but you know, but those are clips, right? I mean, those are, you're getting clips, but. Uh, it's five minutes of clips. Yeah, but, but Nick Griffin Letterman sets are like, to me, a master class. Yeah. On, on what? Easily. So good. So relatable. Clean. But you don't notice it's clean. You're clean. Yeah. So. But there's a bite and there's like. Yes. I mean, the, yeah, I hope so. Like, same with like a guy like Ryan Hamilton. He's clean, but there's like an edge oh, to yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Know, like, oh, yeah. I was watching him last night. There's an edge to what oh, he's saying. He's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, I was listening to your guys' podcast. Hamilton can dance? Oh, my God. Really? Twinkle toes. He's good. He cuts a rug out there. I've seen him at yeah. weddings. He, they, the, the floor opens up for him. Really? Like everybody backs out. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's, he's going. He whips the jacket off. He's doing all this shit. Really? Oh, my God. I saw Stone at and Stone and his wife at uh, List wedding. He was he was doing pretty good. I think yeah. Hamilton was dancing at that wedding. Oh yeah, yeah, miss, yeah. yeah. That's where I saw it. It's funny you talk about that like blue collar comedy tour thing because Norman sends me a thing this weekend. I'm on you know I'm on the road. And Norman sends me a thing and it was of me, List, and Mark. Mm. We tried to sell a special years ago to Must Quibi. Have, Oh my God! Was that who? Wow. That was no. We didn't. We got an offer from Quibi. Okay, okay. that was the only place we got an offer yeah, was Quibi. Yeah. Really? The where failed. Are they now? Uh, <laughs> yeah. God, can you think how much, how big that special would be right now? Well, I mean, it just. We, I think there was some inspiration from the blue collar tour. Yeah. Where like these are a bunch of dudes. I think the difference is they were so different. And Mark, Joe, and I were just joke. I saw our theme was like it was just called jokes, jokes, jokes. Yeah. And it was us just doing twenty minutes each, like bang, bang, bang. We shot a trailer and everything. I forgot we did this. And oh Mark yeah, sends it to I me. Found it we'll email. play it. We'll play the trailer on a future episode for you guys. It's pretty. It's pretty good. At, Patreon. Yeah, it's Put it's it a up. good one. Uh, but it's crazy to look at it. Like like holy shit, we were trying to sell it together. Yeah, and we just like. And nobody would touch us. I remember at the time, I you know I knew Sandler a little bit, and I asked him if he would help. Oh, and he, that's and he right. did, and they Netflix really? was still like, no. and they still they said, said no, no yeah. to Sandler. And Netflix. Well, we Cuts. were no. I mean, they said no to us, not yeah. to Sandler. He he was being he's the nicest dude in the world. Really? And yeah, he really is, and he was trying to help us. But you know, uh, I think it was just for them at the time made no sense yeah it's three whitey you know we weren't we had no juice it, it wasn't a very appealing for the but, industry but it was like it was a funny thing to look back i was like man it's like fun even when you don't sell shit it's kind of fun yeah. to make shit together yeah oh, i got all these like sketches that me and henry phillips and uh oh put them chad, up chad daniels wow uh, nikki glazer was nikki was like a kid like almost wow. she was like in college still yeah. drinking uh yeah yeah she was back then yeah it i mean they were some of, man, some of the Henry Henry's a really good actor. All those guys, great are actor, actors. great yeah, comic, yeah. funny. Yeah, Jamie yeah. Lisso was in it. Wow, those guys. yeah, it's it's pretty good. St. Louis is a crazy alumni. Is Lisso from St. Louis? No, I just it oh. was. Uh, but it's like you, Nikki, Tommy, me, Johnigan. Nikki, Johnigan, yeah. yeah. But I I had just like uh, is Nick Vaderot from St. Louis as well? Nick, Nick Vaderot is from Whoa. St. Louis. Wow. Yeah, okay. Pete Lee? No, Pete's Wisconsin. God. Yeah. Uh, don't Chad? lump don't lump us Midwest. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's that's like almost death time, baby. Liquid death, mountain water, flavored sparkling water. I love that uh lime. This I think it's severed lime. Iced tea may look like a tall boy can, but it's a non alcoholic choice you can enjoy anywhere. With flavors like rest in peach. Get it? You can make any boring event a little more exciting. Yeah, I've had this a bunch. I, as I said, lime seltzer. I get in my green room a lot. I love it. Uh, you, you've had this shit, right, Mark? Love it. Big fan. I got them all at home. I like all the flavors. I mix them with booze. Mountain water. Just don't go with uh, Julian Sands. <laughs> Bad joke. All right. Rest in peace. Drinking liquid death is a great is great for the environment. They donate a portion of the profits from every can sold to help end plastic pollution. Why would you drink anything else? Pick up a case and start violently murdering your thirst today. That's Ooh. right. Genocide on your fucking bod. Let's do it. You can find Liquid Death healthy beverages on Amazon or a, real, a retailer near you. Plus, we might be drunk listeners. Get 20% off their first Liquid Death apparel purchase. Available exclusively at liquiddeath.com slash drunk. Exclusions may apply. That's liquiddeath.com slash drunk. How about this for their next drink? Genocider. Ooh, that's hey. pretty good. Take it, Liquid Death. You're welcome. All right. Hey, hey, We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Dewar. Wearing them right now. Do or die. Look at that. Big fan. They yeah. feel great. They smell great. They fit like a goddamn glove. The, the band, the waist is a little perfectly stretchy. 
I look love like a it. summertime mass shooter. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I feel like a lesbian who's cleaning out a cage at the zoo. <laughs> oh, boy. When Dewar sent us over their top of the line shorts, I didn't expect them to be this good. I can move in these things. That's big. Lining's everything. Huge, huge. A lot of them are very constricting, but these are really, you can breathe, but they're not too Your flowy. Your dick feels like it's suffocating in some of those. <laughs> yeah. It mushes it up. I hate that. Exactly. Choke my dick. Choke the chicken. It makes the world's most comfortable pants. Breathable, lightweight, durable. They never go out of style. That's true. These are timeless. I got to be honest. I just got these today. I'm never taking them off. I'm going to have sex with my wife in them. I love them. Cool pockets. They call this a, uh, what is this called? Some kind of weird cargo. A zipper? Uh, yeah. They're a <laughs> zipper. That's it. I love them, too. I'm going to have sex with Mark's wife in them, too. There we go. Do her. Send me the video. I prefer a black guy. If you're a doer, these tough, cool shorts and pants will keep up with you. You're not boring. Don't let your pants be. And it's not only pants, but they got an entire menswear line of jeans, joggers, shorts, tees, jackets. And they make you look sharp while keeping up with your busy lifestyle. Made from materials like wood chips, plants, and recycled bottles. Whoa. Doer has finally made sustainable clothing that's long-lasting and stylish. Trust me. You need to add Dewar to your summer wardrobe. Check out Dewar's flagship stores in L.A. and Denver, or go online at shopdewar.com. Our listeners get 15% off site-wide using our code DRUNK. For 15% off your order, go now to shopdewar.com, S-H-O-P-D-U-E-R.com, promo code DRUNK, shopdewar.com, promo code DRUNK. Get on it. Pete would be such a good murderer if they made, like, Fargo season five. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't he be great? Like, oh, yeah. geez. I, yeah. Oh, honey. Oh, why are you making me kill you? Yeah. Red Fox, St. Louis. Oh, wow. yeah. you better wash your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever, that's, that's we should get, that's we get Red race. Fox on the Oh, I love Red yeah, Fox. Man. Get him up there. Sanford and Son is so fucking funny. So funny. You better keep sucking on that sucker, sucker. That's my favorite part from that. Yeah, I love that show. Well, you know what? That's what I love about comedy is these guys are all just degenerate, balls to the wall, crazy motherfuckers. And then the industry scoops them up. And then they're supposed to be like cleaned up and nice and presentable, but they're still that guy. Yeah, that's why I love Red oh, Fox. On Esther, the you know the, the lady who plays Anna, yeah. I can't remember her name. She she I'm is gonna like, join you. She's filthy, man. That if you ever oh and, really yeah she is filthy. She's the one that plays Anna Esther, and she's really hot as a younger woman. Pull like, her up. Yeah, she was. Red's friend in high school or something or coming up Whoa. in St. Louis and they wanted an actress and and, and she's a comic there and she, she was and Red said well then you're not having a sitcom because she's going to play on Esther because I can tee off on her because she's a comic he didn't Whoa. feel right teeing off yeah yeah she, yeah she was hot look at that she was really hot man wow well, oh yeah that was uh, a great LaWanda Page LaWanda Page LaWanda go Page. watch those old Dean Martin roasts she's wow. like she's you, you wino. Like, yes, yeah, yeah, she's, she's so yeah. good. There's this story about Red Fox where there's these two big, big fat guys that were twins out of St. Louis called uh, Zach and Mac. Mm. And they were, and this was when, when Red's like, you know, there's three channels on TV and Sanford and Sons is the biggest thing going. Yeah. And he's at Dangerfields one night mm. and uh, he's just murderous. You know, he's Red Fox at oh, the same yeah. time. And uh, so he goes down the green room in Dangerfields and Zach and Mac went on stage and he had no idea who they were and uh they're from st louis and uh and and red's he, he's listening he's like who, who, who these who these guys up there killing after me who following me trying to kill after me and he goes up there and he sees him and he laughs and then they, he brings him down the green room and he talks to him and he finds out they're from st louis he's like Man, i'm gonna put you on my show wow and, and two weeks later they're they play bodyguards in oh, on sanford great. and son like wow. you know, there's no way you would get that done these days on a no sitcom. i love that i love well, helping how many out sitcoms the comics even are there anymore I don't know. Yeah. there's not that much and also like with the writer's strike there i mean who the fuck i mean hopefully by the time this is out that's over but i doubt it right yeah they're I saying mean, 100 days at least Probably. It's hard enough to, it takes a long enough time to sell a show, oh to make God. a show. I know. And then, and then you put all this shit involved. That's oh. kind of like, and it sucks because, like, I didn't, I love doing this show. Like, Mark and I have a ton of fun, but, like, I didn't think this was going to be our thing. I didn't think, like, right. like, I think we got into comedy thinking, like, I didn't want to get, I didn't get into comedy to be, like, fucking Don Imus. No. I wanted, I wanted to make, like, a sitcom, you <laughs> yeah, know? I wanted yeah, to make, like, a yeah. show. And I still do. And maybe, you know, someday 
at some point. But it's just God. Oh the yeah, man. The, the 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 hoops you have to jump it's over. It's brutal with these with these industry. Well, that's why know? pods are so popular because you can just do it. You don't need to wait for people and get you know the uh, the yes and the no and the red tape and the legal. Eighty nine do different like steps. Yeah. And then they still in the end say no. Or like I've had friends that have I've seen friends comics and then my writer friends have like gotten it all the way to the end. Yep. And then by the time you get at the end. It doesn't look anything like what you yes. started with because they messed with it. The industry stinks because how many things have started online and then they go, oh, that's doing well. We'll buy it. And you're like, well, if I had pitched it to you, you would have said no. But now that you see it yeah. kicking, they're right. kicking ass. Now you want it? They, they have no Clueless. imagination. They, they no. need a complete proof of concept. They can't. You like, guys should have something, though, man. You well, guys, we, you, at, we some point, at some point, maybe. Yeah, you yeah. Know, but right now, this is we're having fun, you know. Uh, oh, yeah. We got no one telling us what to do. Make a show, make Salak use my bodyguard. and uh, Hey, yeah, man, is it true? I need more ice. I'll go get it. I don't know how this works. We got ice. Bad telling He's somebody to get me like, more ice. This is supposed to damn. fill the glass with ice. This was a, a nice little bottle cocktail. I like yeah, this. Yeah, these Negronis are all right. It's, I never drink, man. Really? Yeah, I barely ever drink. Easy. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Touch me, man. Sorry. Right. Well, let me ask you, because well, you're clean. drink is laced with a, five hits of acid. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the ice you need. Every clean comic has a dark side. Really? Yeah, you know, uh, Seinfeld loves kids. Oh. No, uh, uh, but what Ryan is Hamilton your... once raped a baby. Yeah. The list goes on and on. Well, you got Hamilton? Cosby, yeah. You got the other guy. Regan's a booze hound. What is your, <laughs> what is your hook? I don't know. I like gambling. Aha! Really? Yeah, now yeah, we're getting yeah. somewhere. Really? Yeah, I like to gamble. Okay. Yeah. I like playing cards. What do you got on Biden's death? Uh, <laughs> All right. What, what do you think... Uh, is it poker, blackjack? What do you it's play? It's that man. It's uh, it's a terrible. It's a really Sports. dumb game. It's that uh, ultimate Texas Hold'em. Oh, that will suck in. Yeah, I it's, grew up playing that. It's like I'm gonna say like Uno. Yeah, gamble. <laughs> I bet it all, dude. Connect four. I lost my house. <laughs> no, it's like it's like blackjack. You play the dealer. You play Texas Hold'em against the dealer. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, yeah, it's, I was playing this weekend. My friend, we're, we're my roommate playing. in college would pay rent with that shit online. Really? That's oh, so fucking yeah. risky. I knew a kid like that, too, but it's so risky. It it's is. A, it's a, yeah, it's not a good game, man. It's no. A, you're not going to win. I mean, he was always like, come on, so let me fun. borrow 20 bucks. You I know? just like being there and playing. Like, if it's a $5 table, it's great. Because a $5 table on that game, that means you're betting the way I bet. You're probably betting anywhere from 20 to 40 on mm. the hand, right? With That's a $5 minimum. So I was I was at this and I, I I could play that all day long, you know. I, yeah. I it's just I just like playing. But if it goes to ten, man, now it's like you know it's an eighty to one hundred and fifty dollar hand or something. It's like it's too much. It's, it's too just, much. It's just too much. So I'll do that, but only when I think I got more money than I really have. And so you you, you got know. the bug, but you're not a psycho. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I don't, I'm not out of control. Because guys will lose their their families over this. No, shit. No, I don't have a family, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> he already lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. I'm so glad I don't have the gambling bug. I've lost every hand I've ever played. I, I lose every slot. I'll I've get never drunk won. at the end of the night sometime, and I'm just like, just fuck. and then I'm like, fuck you. I'll just like keep putting more yeah. on it. Okay, really? like, oh, my God. If I'm hammered, do you sure. S- do you, you don't bet the Knicks, do you? I don't bet on sports because yeah. I actually like watching Me sports. Me neither. I, I don't bet baseball. Need, yeah. I, you're such a big Cardinals fan, right? Huge, but yeah. I, I don't like and betting. we got the shirt on right here. Yeah, it's like a mix of my buddy's band, who's a comic. It's... He's got a, oh. this band called Ludo, and he's he's got a song about pterodactyls. Oh, cool! They did a thing at Bush Stadium. Yeah, oh, they had nice. like they had a couple big hits at one time. So were you bummed? Sure. Are you, were you a football fan? Were you bummed when the Rams left? I was bummed when the Cardinals left when I was a kid. Mm. This, the football Cardinals left to go to Arizona. Yeah. That really hit me. And then I mean, I, I, and then I went to Houston, and the Oilers left uh, and, and went to Tennessee. And we're then, leaving right after the show. Wow. Yeah. We're, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's falling apart, and then uh, and then the and then the Rams left. So I, I hate the NFL. I just I, wow. There's three teams that I've lost, and I, that's I hate tough. It. I wasn't a Giant Rams fan. I followed it, but baseball, baseball and college wrestling. I'm like in as much as you can be in. You were a legit wrestler. Yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah, I was good. I wasn't like that next level, but I was. I was good. I mean, that's a tough sport. The cut and weight. You yeah. know, the hand. It's hand to hand. You gotta. You gotta go out of the guy if you're terrified. And it's so simple. Yeah, but simple. you don't want your arms out like that, man. You gotta have men. Gotta have men. Yeah, yeah. You know and then the, yeah. the singlet alone is is intimidating. 
That's you know, that little that's, onesie? That's, that's what throws... It's not a onesie. It's not the name of it, man. What do, you call, what do you call it? Uh, uh, singlet. Singlet. Okay, I had it. <laughs> onesie, onesie, onesie sounds like you're taking a shot. <laughs> no, no. I, but it is It is one piece of clothing. It's yeah. a legit move. Is that a... What is that? A butt plug? That's, What's going uh, on there? the check in the oil. Oh, oil man. And yeah. they do that? I've been there. Not, it's a rare thing. This the, looks like my honeymoon. I think that might be <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, milk of the why, prostate. Why is that the old, Did you Google that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is he doing? I Googled your name and wrestling, and I got this. No, yeah. you did not. <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you imagine if you went to like a real wrestling match and somebody just giving it to you the yeah. shocker? There's a really, like, there's a picture that shows of me in a singlet that's like, Oh, look it's, it up. Yeah, it's can everywhere. we find it? Oh, pull it up. You were a hunk. That thing sneaks up on me every now and then. I got a few see. wrestling wanna... match with my brother where I did that move because uh, you, you're desperate. You have the finger in the ass? Oh, yeah. Little do you know, that's what makes you come years later. It's crazy. <laughs> it's a good move. Uh, W-A-R-R-E-N. Right. Yeah. There's two things on the internet. There's that picture. Two very hard words to spell, Matt. Yeah, Thanks. yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling is W-R-E. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Ah, Holy shit. <laughs> this is Look gay at porn. Look at this. <laughs> it's exactly what you're not supposed to do in a wrestling picture is smile either. It's the stupidest uh, thing. Oh, you're so Wrestling cute. Wrestling pictures and mug shots. You don't smile. Yeah, you don't smile. They... You see in the middle there. See, if you, in the middle, it's that's the only match of mine on... Uh, here? Yeah. And oh, that, here we go. That's me getting worked by the two-time national champ, man. Whoa. Guy, oh, is this it? Wait, which yeah, one are you? Yeah, I'm the guy getting whooped. In the in the maroon? I'm in the black. No, You're the, the black. guy in the maroon. Okay. He only lost t- three times his whole college career. Damn. Wow. He is good. He's ferocious. Yeah. I, now, if you get later on, like, he, he kills me. He kills me. But I did get on top of him. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, ah. In the second period, I get back. on top of him. I start cranking on his leg, and he had a bad leg, you know? Ah, smart. This, this is true, man. My coach before this match was like, he's like, I don't care who this guy is, Warren. You take it to him. You don't show him any respect. Yeah. You go after him. So I And here I am. I'm working him pretty hard here on top, all right? There you go. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so at one point, I don't know, somewhere here, they stopped the match. Okay, they stopped the match because his right. knees hurt. He's got his hand on. Yeah, right his, there. yeah, right there. His knees hurt. He goes over to his corner. See, his, his legs hurt. Yeah. You know? Yep. Now, at this point, I go over to my corner. I'm thinking, yeah, Roper, the coach, he's going to be proud of me. He goes, Warren, I'm not sure I would have pissed this guy off. <laughs> <laughs> and he was right. He was right, man. The guy ripped my head off after really? this. Really? This, I won a lot. This is the only match on the internet of mine in college. Wow. Because you, you, you fucked his leg up. He was pissed. Yeah, he was pissed. He was gonna this, that's go- when you got to put him in the figure four leg lock. Dude. Yeah, I, that's, that's yeah. what I had him in. That's oh, what, there no, it he is. He just did yeah. it to me, but way that. more effective. Oh, yeah. man, he's yeah. angry. But see, yeah. there's no fucking around in this sport. You no, know, there's man. no team to rely on. It's just you and this other yeah. guy. That's what I love about it. Yeah, he made me look silly <laughs> a couple times here. I, I watch a lot of fist fight videos, like bar fights and parking lot fights. I feel like they're promoting that shit on Twitter more than ever. Oh. Oh, Twitter Fight Haven, great follow. I know it's like just I don't even follow, but it comes up all the time. Well, I bring it up because a lot of the guys, especially the the honkies, they they fight and they go in. You can tell they took wrestling in yeah. college or high school because they go for the legs, they flip the guy over, and then they just get on top or yeah. they do a choke hold. And I wish I knew it. I wish I took wrestling. Did see? I don't think you take wrestling. Sorry, I uh, no, performed. Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, not like, it's not like shop class. Man. Oh, well, what do you take? Uh, what do you? Uh, I wish you I do uh, wrestling. Yeah, you wrestle, man. I you wish wrestle. I wrestled. Yeah, in yeah, college, I wrestled yeah. my sexuality, but that was about it. <laughs> so yeah, aren't you glad you have it? And in the back yeah, yeah, you get yeah, no yeah, bar yeah. fight. You can, yeah. you you know more than the other guy already. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need to be getting any bar fights at my age, but nah. uh, but you did. T- you tackled a guy in the village once. Yeah, right? there man. we go. Yeah, 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 th- yeah. That that happened. That I got I got punched in the face in the in the East Village, and I shot a single leg on him and uh, and took him down. That's what I'm and, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, but he was like a that he the punch wasn't bad, but like after that he had it was like he was on something. Yeah, I, you know, I was new in New York at the time. <laughs> what a fucking welcome! <laughs> I, know, city, really. I know, I know, it's that welcome. And I called like, I think I called my brother who had lived in Jersey for long. He's like, ah, it's just the East Coast, man. I'm like, what? <laughs> I called another one of my friends. I called Vecchione to tell him he's you know, a wrestler. Yeah, he was a wrestler and a comic. And I, you know, I just met Mike when I moved here, but I immediately loved the guy. He's a wrestler. He's a great comic. Great yeah. guy. So I called Mike to tell him. And then I called another. One of my friends, he's like, dude, this is because somebody was taping it. 
was was part of the story. Somebody was taping. He's like, dude, that thing that's gonna wind up uh, on the. It's gonna wind up on on YouTube, man. This yeah. is gonna be a break for you. This is gonna be your biggest thing. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I, I had a Comedy Central special. <laughs> <laughs> I was no like, yeah, man, it, it wasn't that good, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you need. You need like, yeah, yeah. But it's like he's a comedian. We got to look at his shit, right? <laughs> Jim Jeffries got punched on stage. He said that broke him. Uh, Bill Burr had the heckle thing in Philly that kind of broke him. So oh, you really? need you oh, need that's... to find a guy on fentanyl and kick his ass. Yeah. Let's get the cameras rolling. Fentanyl Let's do might this. be a little scarier though, right? He yeah. might bite. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Maybe. So yeah. wait, why did a guy the guy just randomly hit you? Just hobo nuts. Just up? walking down the East Village and I go, uh, it was like you lived right behind me back then in the lower east side. That's right. Yeah. I lived on Ludlow. Yeah, so I, I was walking down and I, I I just walked by this guy. He goes, What are you looking at, man? And uh like I turned around he, he shouted at me. I turned around, which like, Judah told me like don't 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 turn around ever and Judah yeah. Like, yeah. yeah Judah was like yeah. don't don't ever turn around man well everybody's yelling hey world champion yeah. huh and he's like just keep going keep going so I turned around and you know I was like ah it's a crazy guy and then he like literally sprinted towards me he's like I said what are you looking at Uh-oh. man and I said something stupid you know and then he and then I like I deserved to be hit like I had my face out almost like like th- right here is where you want to let me draw an X yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I was like hey man what are you? and he just went Bam! Whoa! And for a minute, I was like, I don't know, because I was new in New York. You feel like a victim of some sort. Of I was like, I was like, ah, what should I do? And I was like, wait, wait a minute, man. I, I practiced this every day for twenty days. I, I know what to do here. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. what'd you do? You single leg up? to the single leg to the right side. Yeah. Took him down. Yeah, yeah, went right down. Did and you? I then I stopped short of like, I was kind of. I think I had my hand on, on my thumb on his neck or something. And then and wow. Then, and then I. uh and then I was like, wait a minute, this is, this guy's like, he's, this isn't, he's a, a heroin addict, you know? He's, right, he, yeah, right. he's, he, does, he can't fight. You, you know? called your coach and he's like, I wouldn't have done that. Oh, dude. my coach, no. if, 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 that's the thing. Yeah. If that uh, video would have showed up on the internet, and be like, Warren, you still don't know how to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> your footwork is terrible. And you right. No heart. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's pretty wild. Oh, you, can you send, can you play the video that I sent you, Matt? You sent it to Salakus? Yeah. Play, someone sent me this one. Mark's going to love this shit. Uh-oh. We got a fist fight? Is that Salakus, what it is? do you have it? I don't have it yet. He's going to text it to you. We could always play it later. Should we do news or something? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's do some do jokes. Some news. Yeah, some news. All right. So we got a news story here for you. A uh, prisoner who died uh, and was brought back to life argued that his life sentence was technically finished. This is great. This, is, this guy's yeah. a genius. This lawyer is brilliant. What a great uh, way to get out of a life sentence. You serve one. Now you're reborn. This is gold. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, you know, because the, uh. they, they outlawed, they said, sorry, man. Like, he lost. Oh, he did? Yeah, he lost. Ah, yeah, of course. Which damn. I think they had to, because you know, like, prisoners, if this worked, every prisoner would be like, Doc, uh, yeah. Doc, I'm dead. He's like, you have a cold. Like, right. oh, man, I'm dead. Right. And if you ever want to see your family again, I'm dead. I have, I know people on the outside. Yeah. Like, no, it's a cold. I'm dead, Doc. <laughs> Write it down. I'm dead. Well, also he had a do not resuscitate, which it's like. Oh, really? Yeah, which, by the way, I feel like if you've murdered someone, you should have a do not resuscitate. <laughs> there should not be a line in the ER. And you're like, why are we waiting so long? They're like, we're trying to save a murderer. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's true. It is hilarious that they're trying to. It's a technicality. Yeah. Like he's technically dead, but it's like yeah, wordplay. I don't know if that's yeah. The, yeah. the reason why. I remember there's a story in the news about this guy who showed up to uh, the hospital and he had a tattoo. It said "Do not resuscitate." Ooh. And there was an argument over the doctor saying, "Is this a contract? Can we? Oh. You know, can we yeah. abide by this, or do we have to try and revive him?" Interesting. Yeah, they ended up reviving him. Yeah, there's think- been a house episode. I don't know. <laughs> I love that show. That was a great show. Love it. Yeah. Is this uh, what you're looking for, Sam? No, but do news first. We'll save this one. Okay. Save the, it. The uh they got it, they revived this guy with uh epinephrine, it said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is that's that truck driver speed. You know, like those little mini things you see when you oh, go into a right? gas station? That's et- I, that's epinephrine. Oh, think, really? Right? Well, Which I've, tells I've, you like, that stuff should not be legal. Yeah, for like, sale at 7-Eleven. Yeah. I've, I've, uh, I've had a shot, an allergic reaction. I have an epinephrine shot in my leg. It saved my fucking life. It's really? Cra- it's what cra- happened? Yeah. You just, I had an allergic reaction. My eyes were bugging out. And uh, Wait, what are you allergic to? I don't want, I don't want to say because someone could poison me. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> Pussy. But, <laughs> I'm allergic to pussy. <laughs> and it only happened to me one time. <laughs> no, I uh, 
and I remember I was walking to the hospital with my mom and a bird shit on my face. And I was just like, this ain't my day. <laughs> yeah. Damn. But they do say that's good luck, right? So, yeah, I, uh, I, I walk in, they jam it in my leg, and I, uh, you know, it, it, you're like, Phew, you know, but then I passed out for like five hours. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy, yeah. Wow, you were out? I was out, yeah. How that's, old were you? I was like 12. Jeez. Damn, man. you're opening for Ron White. <laughs> <laughs> stuck stuff in your drink. I had a similar thing where I, I had an allergic reaction. I went into one of those WebMD places, whatever it's called. You walk in. The clinic? The, yeah, M CityMD. Yeah, CityMD. And they're, they looked at my face. They're like, we're calling 911. I was like, you're 911. <laughs> I was like, you handle this. Yeah. What are you allergic to? I won't say. Come on, what is no, this? No, I think, I think that's reasonable. Yeah. All right. I'm allergic to gin. Really? Oh, really? Break out in hives. Got to go to the ER and get a shot of something. Yeah. Damn. This is worse than yeah. this. Will kill me. That's why I don't want to say. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. This will yeah, literally yeah. murder me. I let the fans know. Yeah. I got you. Or or your yeah. lady. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> this is, could be her way out. All right. What do you got? What else What's got? next? Uh, an Austrian train plays a Hitler speech on its loudspeaker. Wow, yeah. on a train too. That's really <laughs> the, the, the fucked up part. Yeah. Uh, what's yeah, next? I didn't even think of that, man. Yeah. God. We, well, you know they weren't real Nazis because this was an efficiently. They would have run it efficiently if it was a Nazi yeah. train. Yeah. That's true. That's true. This uh, is brutal, man. The, yeah. the story, like the only thing I could think was like, at least like, America's not the only place with like moron. Skinhead, yeah, it's dirt true. Bags, you know, like they got them over there too. That's like, the yeah, Mecca like, too. Yeah. <laughs> you thought they would clean it up? Yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't start this, like, right? Yeah, that's where guys. Hitler's from, by the way, Austria. Oh, yeah, oh, that's right. But yeah, that's just... uh, the, apparently the air conditioning went down too on this train. I was like, two things come uh, on. Uh, Although I did check, the showers didn't work, so that was uh, it. Uh, but, yeah. uh, <laughs> oh. Woo! These poor kids are just on their way to camp. Oh. You know? <laughs> Uh, it's it's also funny. I wonder if the guy was just like uh, he was just happened to be a neo Nazi who fucked up. It's kind of like when you leave the porn in the VCR. And you're like, oh shit, that wasn't supposed to play. Now that's for later. All right, um, VCR porn jokes, Mark. Jesus. Sorry, I gotta get more that, up that's, to date. That's from that's from like a true life tale right there. <laughs> I'm right there. What happened you, to him right, right there? there? Hey, thank you. Yeah, it's my era. Yeah. Um, they shouldn't play this on a train, this this Hitler speech. They should play it in art schools. Just so you know, they're like, hey, hey if you don't get your shit together, you're going to end yeah. up like this guy. You got to paint better. I'm, I'm going to use one of the guys, uh, the news said, uh, we clearly distance ourselves from the content, which I'm going to start doing if my wife catches my DMs. I'm like, oh, I distance myself. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. All right. Too soon. Uh, Hitler, Hitler speech on a train. That's like playing Jim Crow at an auction. All right. Wait, Jim Crow? Jim yeah, Crow. That's what, that's what messed me up. I was thinking Crow. Oh, Jim Crow. Yeah, yeah. I guess he didn't give speeches. Yeah. Uh, David Duke. I'll take it. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. Maybe Jim. Maybe David Duke on a on a, on a cruise. Nah. Slave yeah, ship. Yeah. All, right, all, right. <laughs> all right. He's killed in my apartment. <laughs> Mark, Mark's bargaining with Salik. He's like, come on. <laughs> give me a fucking. Give me something here. Oh, all right, here we go. Uh, a Michigan woman uh, charged with caring for wildlife without a permit. The animals were killed by the state officials. So the state officials came in, took her animals away that she wasn't properly caring for and killed them. Mm, that's a weird series of events. Yeah. It's a little mixed, mixed, mixed message. And she said, they said they took it away from her because they don't want, like if you take in a wild animal, chances are when you put it back out in the wild, it's going to die. Yes. Yeah. But the stuff that she was taking, it was like a one-legged crow. It, yeah. And a, it was a rack, a blind raccoon. With Down syndrome. With Down syndrome. They're gonna die. Like, like right. I, I, don't, I don't see where. Like, if you put them back, they're yeah. gonna die, man. I'm with you. I was, was on her side, totally. And then, did you read her tweet? Was it her Facebook yeah, post yeah. or whatever? It yeah. sounds a little bit, a little much, man. She said, "So this old farm gal helps." Us. She she called them woodland creatures, which immediately, I'm like, eh, ah, that's little, adorable. Little, eh. I will be arrested. Please pray. I will light. Be a light for those I come in contact with. Let yeah, my hands continue sure to give love. she's nice, but I was like, ah, she's a handful. She was yeah. charged with uh, keeping endangered creatures in captivity. Thank God uh, Hugh Hefner's not still alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, also. Uh, you think those girls didn't want to be there? 
Uh, some of them didn't. Some, I think some of them like talked themselves. Yeah, no, I think that. you're right. I think, yeah. I don't know if they really, I think at a certain point they're like, I think there's. And wasn't he on all kinds of pills like uppers or something? Oh, yeah. yeah was it like, uh, yeah. like 1970s? I mean, Adderall? he was something at that age. It's energy, it's not a downer. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, that's yeah. true. But he was like a speed freak kind of guy. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. And you know the Viagra, and also he had these strict like it's movie night, and like I just want to go hang out. No, like, it's movie no, night. No, movie You're night. all gonna sit around me and you know watch the movie and pet me. <laughs> Let me just say this about the, uh, <laughs> the wild life. <laughs> I gotta get my jokes in that I worked on. Um, it's just a weird series where of events where they, hey, you're mistreating these animals, and then we kill them. Yeah. You know, what if CPS did that? Hey, you're not fit to be a father. <laughs> All right. We got it in. Thank God they weren't around I like for, where you're uh, heading with that one, though, man. That's like, something yeah, there. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there, there's definitely a... Yeah, the, where were these uh, animal rights activists during Noah's Ark? Huh? <laughs> Go back to the CPS thing. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got we got any other news, Sally? Keep it going, yeah. Sally. Uh, okay, so masturbation with a sex toy kills a man. Wait, wait which toy? I just want to know for myself here, for my future. <laughs> this is what you're allergic to. <laughs> uh, he gets electrocuted with ping pong balls up his butt while jerking off in the Czech Republic. Mm. Yeah, I, I actually saw that his parents found the body, which, like, you should not have this advanced a sexual fetish and live at home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You gotta pick one. <laughs> Who didn't? Point. Yeah, how did they not know what was going on? <laughs> right, you were electrocuting right. your balls. You gotta at least afford a studio. That's, <laughs> yeah. Who knew and when? <laughs> the, also, the other thing, like, it's the Czech Republic. That's an Eastern European country. They're pretty frugal over there, so... <laughs> Like they're using those ping pong balls again for so like, ah. like, like, like so, somebody's going to be using that. Yeah. Like, Don't throw them. away ping pong balls. <laughs> these, these are perfectly good. They <laughs> smell weird, Grandpa. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this guy's up Shit's Creek with a ping pong paddle. All right. Uh, oh, shit. Hold on. Well, why is it electric, by the way? Why is it an electric ping pong? Because he's, I think he was like electrocuting his balls or something. The, oh. the ball wasn't electric. Yeah, I don't have think. you ever tried to get off with just regular ping pong? <laughs> 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 On his tombstone, they wrote game, set, match. I heard, which, like, <laughs> there's some people who think regular masturbation is a sin. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like, like, wow, this guy's really a piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, the guy yeah. that invented uh, cornflakes did it because uh, Kellogg, he. That's was right. A, he was against masturbation, and he wow. thought that what caused masturbation was bland was was spicy food. So he made cornflakes as bland as he could, and he invented graham crackers. They used to be really really bland. Uh, no, Graham invented graham crackers, and this guy was a disciple of his. So, mm. but he did it because if you eat a bland diet, you won't masturbate. Could you imagine what he thought these people were like <laughs> eating with like this guy? But then his brother, his brother, like snuck sugar into the cornflakes is like oh yeah, my really my brother's an idiot and that's why Kellogg's became like this wow. giant thing yeah, yeah. how about that yeah. uh, subsequent examination revealed that the electric device malfunctioned when plugged in and the autopsy revealed burns in the skin above the man's penis Ooh. Can you sue know. that manufacturer? Uh, yeah, good they probably, it's a pretty they embarrassing they lawsuit. Never get yeah. sued, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, who's gonna sue it? Yeah, the man? parents show up. <laughs> You're right. We want justice. All right, tell us exactly what happened. Well, I don't oh, never care. mind. <laughs> Why is it electric? I don't get. What is an electric ping pong ball? No, it's it's the it's device. Balls, like the metal balls? No, it's ping pong. It's ping pong, man. I don't get where how it can be electric. Yeah. Yeah, I'm confused. But all right. Either way, if he was yeah, Amish, please don't he'd be look with for us. photos. <laughs> what were you saying, Mark? Nothing. <laughs> Stand by it. Man, they're gonna be these poor parents. They're gonna be triggered every time they see a ping pong table. You know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are there any other stories? Yeah, sure. Oh, do you have any more, Mark? No, no, you don't want to hear it. <laughs> I, I like the CPS thing. Was Thank you. So a Colorado driver tries to switch. This is gold. God, this is gr great. A Colorado driver tries to switch seats with a dog in a failed attempt to avoid a DUI arrest. Woo, this guy's a real booze hound. You know, <laughs> little hair of the dog. Uh, this guy was shih tzu faced. <laughs> okay. This guy. This only works if the cop is also shit faced. Right. In right. which case he's like, whoa, <laughs> the dog is driving. 
I feel like we know guys that would do this. Like, yes. like, like it's because the ingenuity of a drunk is especially yeah. like, th- this guy is a genius. They should have let him go. <laughs> and you know, he doubled down too. You know, they're like, Hey man, he's like, what, what, what was the dog swerving? Was it, cause, I, Cause he said he wasn't drinking, man. If he was drinking, it's on me. It's on me. He, yeah. That'd be great if they did punish the dog. Just that he's fine. The dog has to do community service for like three months. You see the dog, uh, dog yeah. out on the side of the highway. <laughs> I wonder what he did. You should just like, this is kind of, this is kind of a genius. I love this guy. He gets caught like fucking his wife's friend. He just throws the dog. I know he's like, it was him. Right. The dog, right. Bad boy. You oh, dirty man. dog. <laughs> oh yeah, and yeah, the cops like, ah, got another collar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, isn't that what they call it, a collar? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So we have a story here. Italy calls crisis meeting over surging pasta <laughs> prices. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you know. This is like what. This is funny because it's like exactly what an ignorant person would think they're doing in Italy. Right. So like I bet they're fucking arguing about pasta or yeah. some shit. Yeah, right. and that is it. We're like dealing with like mass shootings and immigration over here. They're just like we got a linguini crisis. Right. Yeah. You and wonder it's... what wasn't a crisis before this. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, man. There's uh, the mafia is coming back. The, there's violence in the streets and uh, the infrastructure is crumbling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an eight percent raise in pasta prices. We we gotta have a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is tragic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're really pinching pennies. <laughs> All right. Woo. Ah, I got it, man. It's reached a boiling point over there, <laughs> you know, with this pasta. And, uh, you know, I blame these uh, olive oil tycoons. All right. <laughs> I'll see you all in hell. Pinching uh, pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Okay. What is it? He's, oh, do you have one more joke? Or you want me to read the thing? No, no. Last one. Okay. A uh, man rescued from the woods after sex game goes awry. German police say 51-year-old man who was left tied up in the woods when a sex game uh, went awry so that mm. had a lucky escape after a cyclist and a hunter heard his screams for help. Wow. Yes. What's going on with me and, me and my wife? We have sex sideways. It takes 11 seconds, and then we both watch jury duty. You know, like, who are these guys going to the woods, getting tied up, doing all kinds of kooky shit? Yeah, that... what's wrong with a bed? Yes, yeah. exactly. Beds are fucking great. Oral is good. Sex is good. You don't need a ping pong ball or yeah, a tied well, up tree. No judgment, but all, if it kills you, some judgment. Yes, yes, agreed. Did you see that, like, the woman that, did this to him she got a phone call supposedly and that's when she took off and left him there oh yeah which you i want to know what that phone call was like. <laughs> uh, listen uh your kid's in trouble at school uh they were jumping rope and he uh he tied somebody up and it's uh it's a real bad yeah. <laughs> it is uh, she got found by a Oh, he got found by a cyclist, which is and, so... And, and a, a hunter. hunter. It's yeah. so weird. Like, can you imagine? There's like the different ends of the health spectrum. It's like one dude, <laughs> one dude's working on his cardio. Another dude's tied up in the woods. The both, both of their heart rate is going for a different reason. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank it's, God Dick Cheney wasn't out there. He would have shot, shot that guy. Shot him in the face. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's an uh, old reference. <laughs> <laughs> said the 51-year-old told, told officers that he had a box cutter with him for such situations. But he couldn't find it. Man, those box cutters. Let me tell you something. In the grocery business, those things are gold. Gold. Uh, yeah, like uh, yeah, Freddie was the one that told me. Like he was, because he was in the grocery business before. But he, that's how you bribe the grocery store. I was like, hey, hey, a couple, of, <laughs> a couple of box cutters. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, we didn't have it, but Freddie said they had like Clorox. On, you know, that was his company. It was Clorox or Colgate or something. Mm. Like, yeah, some box cutters, man. Like, Interesting. Yeah. I knew a guy who was an undercover cop, and he he got out of a serious jam with some box cutters like a fight yeah oh really? damn yeah those will cut you up yeah yeah this is uh not he's, just for boxers uh uh-huh. he's, he's lucky this stuff. guy yeah, these... they're kind of like uh what do you the, the where you can the knives because it, it's just you just press it's the track right yeah. yeah yeah it's like a switchblade switch almost. Blade, yeah yeah I, exacto knife is also pretty deadly and when i was growing up those were called uh buck 50s Mm. Because they would use them for slashing faces on the subway, and you need 150 stitches. 
What? And the, and the tool was called the buck fifty. Where like, did you, you grow up, 50, man? If you have a buck fifty on you, it meant box cutter. God. Yeah, don't let the outfit fool you. He's not. <laughs> he's not in, from Tahiti working yeah. on a job. <laughs> hundred and fifty stitches. Jeez. Oh yeah. Who's the guy that the comic that got that happened to? Doug, Doug Smith. Smith. Doug Smith, man. Amazing bit he has on Great it. Great bit. Yeah. It's all true though, right? Like he. All true. Yeah. Yeah, he's a it's hero. On, it's on YouTube. It's on Ari Shafir's storytelling show. It's great. Killer story. True story. Do you have any... Uh, oh, sorry, Mark. No, I was just going to say, this guy's lucky that these guys found him. That could have been a lot worse. He could have been found by other sexual weirdos. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Deliverance 2.0. <laughs> yes, exactly. They're like, well, looky here. Yeah. <laughs> we got ourselves a mouth. Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> Served up on a silver platter. <laughs> my yeah. oh my, Cletus. Uh, yeah. Or he knows him. He uh, sees these guys. Are, oh, oh, yeah. No, not Charlie. <laughs> like, uh, this guy's, in, this guy's uh, into some weird stuff. Oh, this dude loves fucking mouths. And you God really, damn it. You can really bribe him. He's like, Take, help me, help me. And you're like, yeah, you know, I've been looking at this big screen TV on Best Buy. Whatever you want, man. He's like, nine, nine, nine guys. He's in Germany. Ah. Uh, Nine is no in Germany. Well, how'd we know? How'd you get to? Oh, he's in Germany. Oh, I didn't know he was in Germany. I see. Sorry, sorry. Nine I don't pay attention guys. to Dateline for some reason. Sorry, sorry. Any any wrecks or peeves or anything? I actually have some peeves. Hit me. It's in my, hold on. Let me pull these up. I don't know if you got any peeves there, Greg. Sure. Yeah. What do you got? Uh, I've been fooling around. When, when, you, when you walk into a business mm. and, uh, and nobody's working there, like nobody's at the front. It, it drives me insane. There's two, hotels are one. So, you know, mm. you come into a hotel like 1130 at night and there's like a sign that says, you know, I'll be back in 10 minutes or whatever because they went to the back. Like you're the holiday in. You're this <laughs> giant company and you, you have you can only have one guy working for yeah. for 400 rooms. You can only have one guy working. He's going to have to go to the bathroom. You guys really can't afford two guys. I know. You, you know, that uh, that is brutal. Walgreens is another one that, which it doesn't hold up as much in the city. But in like suburban Walgreens, you walk in at eleven thirty at night. They're open. Uh, so there's one guy working the register. And, and, yeah, and there's he's not there. Right. You, you walk in, it's upsetting. You just feel like something did something horrible just happen. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, did, yeah did, Amazon did, came along. Yeah, and, uh, well, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you, you feel like, like you're giving to a mom and pop going to Walgreens. That's these true. Days. Yes, that's how strong Amazon yes. You, is. you, you, you guys, right now. You have one more employee than a vending machine, and you're, you're Walgreens, man. You yeah. can't afford two guys. Well, this, we talk talking about the AI and stuff. I mean, it started with the self-checkout, and yep. it's coming for us. Oh, yeah, man. McDonald's. You guys, is... sca you guys scared me so much. I listened to your last episode, and you were talking about robots writing jokes and stuff like that. Oh, like, yeah, it's coming, on, baby. Good. It's not good. Ugh. They're not great yet. I Googled. I checked to see if I could write a better joke, and then... They're better than mine tonight, <laughs> but uh, they're not great yet. So, but give them five years, they'll figure it out. Yeah, no soul though. No soul. No soul. No soul. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, can yeah. figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. Soul, come on. Soul's a Pixar movie. I did see that there was a self checkout that asks for a tip. Uh, what? Oh, you gotta be kidding! You gotta be kidding yeah. me, man. So you're just tipping the company? That's yeah. I love that. Like, 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 no one's working here. But let me just give uh, Howard Schultz at Starbucks yeah. some more money. Right. My right. thing is like, if you if you're gonna steal from that place, how do you get in trouble for doing that? Where you just you like, don't. You're listen to steal I, now. I walk That's in. gonna be the new viral video. Is this robots <laughs> killing unarmed people? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're gonna be like, look, we need robots to patrol the neighborhood. <laughs> they keep us safe. Yeah, that will. That's gonna happen. You're yeah. right. Good point. Yeah. All right, I got a pee for you. What do you got? How about this guy? I hate this guy. The guy who gets mad that you're mad. <laughs> so I had the guy go, uh, this guy was fucking me over. I'm not going to get into details. But he screwed me over, and then I finally see the guy, and I go, hey, what's going on? He goes, don't be mad. I'm like, <laughs> you can't tell me not to be mad. Yeah, yeah. I'm mad. You yeah. fucked me over, and now you're telling me not to be mad? You don't get to do that. Yeah. Hate the don't be mad guy. I think we need details on this thing, man. Yeah, maybe you need yeah, details. Yeah, I think we need, I mean, he, I, he took some money from me. I've been hit, hounding him about it. He's like, don't worry, I'll get it to you. And I bumped into him. I didn't think I would bump into him. And he's like, hey, 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 the money's coming. Don't be mad. And I'm like, I'm bad. <laughs> no, every, yeah, no. every once in a while, you just want a guy to be like, 
Hit me with it. Yes, be mad. Be mad. Yeah, 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 I, I'm yeah, allowing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, you I, can't do that with the police. Don't yeah. be upset. I did something illegal. <laughs> yeah. You're going to jail. No, 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 you're don't in be a upset. sex dungeon. <laughs> Slow down. Yeah. I know you're going to be bad. Come on. Yeah. You're also the cheapest guy I know in the world. What circumstance did you lend somebody money? I lend money. You guys don't know about me Who, lending money. Is it a it's comic? An investment. It's a comic. Yeah. Do I know him? Then? Oh, yeah. Everybody knows him. It's Jerry Seinfeld. No. Um, That'd be great if Jerry was just borrowing money from people. <laughs> he's he's like, dude, just spot me like, you know, just spot me like 10 grand. Well, I've opened some, some big headliners. They have no cash. It's all it's all tied up and they got, you know, Swiss banks and real estate and cars and all this Mark shit. Mark used to open for Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. And it was <laughs> no cash. Good on gig. Epstein. Good gig. But. I had to tip all the girls. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. that is. I don't, don't be mad. <laughs> Any Rex? Uh, yes. I just saw Air. It's, I heard it's great. It's oh, great. It's, good, it's so fun. So I'm gonna watch it's it. Really good. It feels like a real it. movie. Oh, you would love it, man. I'm gonna, like I know. I feel like it was like made so for great, me. Man. I can't wait to watch yeah. it. Yeah, yeah I just watched the Fablemans on your Rex. Oh yeah, that's What's good. That? It's good. It great. Takes a minute, but it, it's it great. Spielberg's movie, The Fablemans. It's like his life story. Oh yeah, yeah. It's really good, dude. Do you like it? I didn't see it yet. Oh, you'll like it. You told me it was bad. I, the first half took me a second. Well, once I got to the second half, I loved it. I think so, it's good. It's good. Though. I watched it on a flight, but it, it was, uh, that it got helps. me. Yeah. Yeah. I might be late on this, but beef is very good. I hear it's very People good. People are raving beef? about beef. Beef. It's on <laughs> Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> it's I literally. <laughs> no, yeah, there's a show. On. He's just recommending the food. I thought he was talking about yeah. the meat, man. <laughs> I, thought was, I thought that's a good bit. <laughs> <He's> like, uh, <laughs> every week, he's just like, one week, he's like, chicken is pretty good. I like chicken I'll this give week. A shot, but... man. <laughs> well, the way he said it, I'm kind of late on this. <laughs> hey, so try sex. Guys, tune sex in next week. Salacuse is going to recommend fish. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I got one. Uh, uh, Briggs and Riley luggage. I, I'm all what? in on that. All my shit is Briggs and Riley. It's a what lifetime guarantee. It's expensive, but it's lifetime guarantee. Lifetime. What? I bought a, a bag back when I lived in LA in like the early 2000s, and it's li- it was like 550 bucks, which back then was a lot of money for me. Yeah. And uh, give me an image. It was uh, they're great. Lifetime mm. guarantee, and let me tell you something. These guys made a bad deal. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I've said it back like 10 times because it got beat up. Well, that's the, people make really? the mistake of buying low-end luggage and it just breaks. I've, yeah. ha- I've had it break on me. Yeah. But then you buy one really good one, you have it for your fucking life. Like, uh, I had a bag break at JFK Airport and I was like, I'm fucked. Nothing. I went nothing. into a store, they sell Briggs and Riley yeah. bags. Whoa. It cost me, yeah, it was like something like five. Oh, JFK but, was probably, but, yeah. No, it, was, it wasn't jacked really? up really. It wasn't that bad, but it was like, man, this is a great. Really? I, even when I was putting the stuff in, I was like, wow, this is like kind of sleeker and mm, better. And, forever. For, and honestly, like I just sent it back now and they don't, there's no verification. I just send it to them. So really? I think it's not only lifetime, I think it's. Like if you have kids, you, you pass that down. Like that. Yeah. You, so you know, that, till death sucks in relationships. It's great with material with goods. Yes. Yeah, so really can I go to a thrift store, buy a Briggs and Riley, and send it in? I think when I got when I first sent it in, I had to tell where I bought it. So I don't know. Uh, I can just lie. Say I bought a JFK. I don't think that's gonna work, Mark. Don't yeah. be mad. <laughs> but I just don't think. <laughs> All right. I don't think All it's right. gonna work. I'll try it, but all right, I gotta get because everybody says to me, to me. Always there about to me. No, to me's good too. They're all, I mean, those are, all, a lot of companies give. Uh, I think to me's way more expensive. Oh, but is it all I got guaranteed? A Toomey, uh, backpack. Lifetime. I don't know if that's. I don't think that's guaranteed. I don't think so either. There's one called Deer Creek or something that's it's, it's something like that. There's a lot of high end companies that are high, that are lifetime, but Briggs okay. and Riley is legit for sure. Patagonia. Hey, by the way, man, the. Uh, your bourbon's great. Thank you. Yeah, nice job. Bro. Hell yeah, Bodega Cat online. Yeah, it's Get really that good. shit. Um, well, my one drink of the year. So. Patagonia also, you send it in. You got a torn jacket. They'll fix it for free. Really? Yeah, fun I got, fact. I got a torn uh, Patagonia jacket. Send it in, baby. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, they'll fix it. All right. Fun fact. It's just fun does it. They, they just bank on no one sending it in. People are lazy. You bank on yeah. laziness. You, you might... I'm fucking lazy, dude. Oh yeah. yeah, I got a million subscriptions out there, and I've signed up for this and Audible and all this other shit. Still paying it. Those people that tell you like those, you know, you put in this, you tell, you put in whatever, how many uh, subscriptions you have on your phone, and yes, and, and oh, it's an app. Holy shit, I should get that, but I also am like, I'm You're fucking, lazy. I'm yeah, lazy. Takes I can't even get that. They're banking on that, and they know it. They're a sponsor. They're Are great. they? They're doing great, and they're doing great work, and I love every second Rocket of it. Rocket Money. We love you, Rocket Money. It's a great concept. 
Rocket Money. You guys are the real deal. Yeah, you're saving us. Love what you guys do. Hell yeah. Should we plug dates? Let's do it. Well, Pull them where, up. Where are you going to be coming up, Greg? Uh, on the road? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm on the road. Is this coming out soon? And like, When's it coming out, man? Uh, Mid-June something? We're, we're banking here, but... You... Mark's going to Australia, and I'm on the road for like two weeks. I, yeah, Nashville Zanies in the summer. I'm, I'm trying to hit that one, and then the Ice House the in L.A. Oh, I'm tr- wow. Trying to hit those pretty Great good, room. Man. When are yeah. you in Zanies? Like uh, sometime in, uh, I think, July. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh okay. Nashville in June, that would have been fun to overlap. Yeah, man. Oh, um, August, August. Oh, you got Sunnyvale, I mean, August, yeah. Bloomington, Pasadena, Nashville, Appleton, Vegas, Chicago, go see Greg Warren on the road. You yes. to, go t- watch the salesman on uh, YouTube. Yes. Please. Huge, please. huge endorsement Very from, from all of us here. Great special. And clean. Bring the kids. Bring the kids. And it's really just quality joke writing. Great stuff. I'm Thanks, all guys. over, man. I, yeah, where am I going to be? Ma- yep, oh, yeah, uh, Denver. 22nd in Denver, 23rd in Santa Fe, 24th in San Antonio. Adding like a bunch of shit. Right? Adding a bunch of shit. Look at that, man. Texas, Houston, Texas on the 25th. Yeah. Edmonton, Alberta. Wow, July great outdoors comedy. Taking some time off there, it looks like. No, we're adding some stuff. Never. Uh, we're adding some <laughs> stuff. Uh, Montreal is going to be added. Uh, Columbus Theater in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, the Academy of Music in Northampton, uh, Massachusetts. Higher Ground in Burlington, Vermont. And uh, in Albany, we're going to add as well. And then, mm. you know, Toronto. A lot of stuff's coming. Uh, Cincy, Columbus. Uh, Indianapolis. Sam yeah, Rhode. that Egyptian room in Indy is really cool, man. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. big though. Yeah. Fucking Indy, man. Yeah, Indy's a weird area. Hard, hard to get those. You guys are killing out. it, man. I'm proud of you guys. Oh, man. oh hey, it's really fun, man. man. It's, it's, we'll, we'll OD eventually. It's awesome, man. Greg uh, Warren, great comic. Definitely, <laughs> definitely watch this special. Hell yeah, I mean, Hoy, Hoyt Sherman in Des Moines. Yeah, yeah, man. Awesome. You know it. Yeah, man. All right, you're great, the one dude. I love Des Moines. Yeah. I've never been there. I got to go there. Oh, that's fun. Oh, you got to go to Des Moines, man. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm after Australia, I'm doing a big theater tour. We're, we're going to Paps in Milwaukee. Get, give me some cities. Just so I'm not... There you go. Milwaukee, Des Moines, L.A., San Diego, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, Cincinnati, Springfield, Cleveland, Oh, you're Hershey, playing the Taft PA. in Cincinnati, man. Yeah. That's, I used, that was right where... Right by Procter & Gamble, man. Oh, that's, wow. Uh, that, dude, that's... Yeah. Oklahoma Wait, City, city? Dallas, Portland, Cincinnati. Oh yeah. Providence, Rhode Island, Cleveland, uh, Grand Rapids, Denver, uh, Grand Junction, Colorado, Hartford, Connecticut, all kinds of day. MarkNormanComedy.com, Mobile, New Orleans, Santa Rosa. When's the special coming out, Mark? The special comes out July 25th on Netflix. I awesome, man. I say horrible things, so uh, buckle up. Should be fun. And uh, I don't do any of these jokes that I did here, so don't worry about that. And, uh, yeah, we'll have fun. Get Bodega know, Cat. The Penne, uh, one was Penne wasn't bad. <laughs> I tweeted it. It got about 11 likes. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Suck, Thank you. suck our Penne's, Mark. Yeah. And, there and we also, go. also, teasing New York November 4th. I'm, I can't say the venue yet because they're being sticklers, but let's just say it's in the theater where the fucking Knicks play. So mm. think about that shit. Really? Yeah. Dude, so, that's... so just get ready, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Wow. All right. Sounds good. And where the field corn grows? <laughs> that's the old special. Yeah. Fish sandwich. All right. Yeah. Boy, do you have a new you have new material yet? <sighs> man, I got I got a fifteen minute run or something. Yeah, that's it's where like, I'm at. Man, I watched it. Nate the other day. He's got a new hour since his thing came uh, out. He's unreal. It's unbelievable. He's a monster, Christ. man. Yeah, I I gotta get with it. I gotta get going. Yeah, yeah it's tough. It's tough to build. It's man. I, it's like two different jobs, isn't it? It's like starting a special and, and then ending it or polishing it. Yeah. Where, where it's like you're like <laughs> so throwing true. shit at the wall and then like honing the shit that you yes. threw at the wall. Yes. It's so it's uh, it's way more fun to start from scratch, even though it's frustrating, because you will go to that place where you get frustrated with the crowd again. You get annoyed yes. with yourself. It's not pretty. And but then when you're honing, you're just bored. I'm trying to like I have shit that I know works now, and I'm trying to just like. It's you get so comfortable. I can add this line, but you got to just try new jokes all the time. New. Step and, off the diving board. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but another better one just starts gelling. You're like, oh, I can add that to this. Oh, that'll finish that. You know, that's really when it gets fun. But I'm not there yet. No, I'm not even close. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm like, I don't. I always have this. I'm like, I don't know if I have another one in me. No, I know. I think the same thing. But you got <laughs> you it do. in there. You, you got do. it. We all do. But that's how you feel after every, after every special. 
It's a hangover. It's like you're like, I'll never drink again. And then it's 5 or 6 p.m. You're like, I could have one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll find a way. Great analogy. Thanks, folks. Get some bodega. Get a shirt. Get a glass. We'll see you in hell. Praise Allah. Thank you, Greg. Thanks, guys. Check out the special, The Salesman, on YouTube. And uh, Sally, you good? Good. All right, Peters. There we go. Keep on keeping on. Sunday's the day for my next fender. A bit of Pivarecki, you know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon. And Norman's talking shit about the fucking post. And I get down in the same way. Up on the roof like a cop's coming. And naked Samuel is feeling dangerous. I'm out to lunch here in New Woman doesn't look like I remember her And I get down